So this one is called My Thoughts on Sandra Bland. Disrespected, at times rejected, even neglected, the darkness of our skin shouldn't be a sin. Our bruises, wounds, tears tell the story of the reality of what we face and where we've been. No matter how intelligent or educated, our accomplishments, talents are minimized. For our beauty and bodies, we are either insulted, envied by others, or we are hated. This is the plight of many black women. In America, we can be unlawfully detained and stopped by corrupt or racist cops who will create an alibi or excuse for their crimes and abuse. No matter how much we work or even if we succeed, we have to strive even harder than the privileged to achieve. Because of the features and brown skin of our face, instead of our humanity, people will magnify our race. Seven-year-old Jakaya McCoy lost her Miss Hispanic pageant crown because her color was considered too brown to be down. If we speak out, others want to drown out our voice. If we accomplish any goal, some want to take away our ability to make a choice. Black, ugly, loudmouth, ghetto, bitch, dirt-faced, monkey are names most of us have heard. A testament to the disdain of black women are the words and terms. We are Sandra Bland. Our lives are not appreciated, our freedoms challenged, at times negated. Our sister was found hanging in her cell, and her life disintegrated. Whether we are from the hood or sitting in the White House, we are forced to keep fighting to survive, making the statement that our lives count. An activist, school, beautiful sister we lost, to those we ne who never count the cost of white supremacist hatred and brutality, constantly causing fatalities, we know the truth. Her life was taken because the foundations of your illusion of supremacy were shaken. Fixing the scene to make it look like a suicide when all of us know the reason she died. Mr. White racist, don't try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. We are Sandra Bland. Brown eyes, dark skin, Afro roots, mothers and sisters too, they are treating our lives so carelessly. Misunderstood, stereotyped, diminishing definitions by white supremacist society. We have to defend our rights, suffer, the black man's plight, and fight just to be. Will we ever be truly equal? Will we ever be truly free? Another sister laid to rest in the cemetery six feet, and we continue to be targets in these streets. All women mobilize, all women yell the battle cry because here and now is our time. We are Sandra Bland. Rest in peace, Sandra Bland. We will never forget your name. It's time for revolution because things can't stay the same. Too much blood, too much bodies, too much police violence, too much not me, no more cover-ups, no more blatant lies. It's time for police accountability. It's time to smash corrupt ties. Sandra Bland, we will never forget your name. We will look into the mirror behind our skin. We are all the same. Thank you.